Good morning, modern steaders. We got about an inch or two inches of snow overnight. We're supposed to be getting some more snow and freezing rain today. Look at that sky. It doesn't look very happy. <sighs> I was just checking the dates. It's been exactly three weeks today since we brought Willow to the breeder. So I'm hoping if she doesn't go back into heat within a couple of days, that means she's pregnant. Last time we brought her was December 1st to the breeder. And she, it didn't take, she was either in heat like the day before maybe. And then, so that was the first. And then December 18th, we brought her back. So what's that, 17 days different? And right now it's been 21 days. So I think we're looking in good shape. Good morning. It's dark in here this morning with all the skylights covered up with snow. It takes the old water out. Sorry if it's kind of dark in here. The skylights are covered with snow. I almost didn't put the skylights in the metal roof when I was making the goat barn. But I'll tell you what, I'm glad I did. It makes such a big difference. If you guys haven't seen the videos of me building our goat barn, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. It's kind of neat what we ended up building this barn out of. We built this whole barn for 300 bucks. Well, I hope you're pregnant. She's not in heat today, guys, but I don't want to jinx us and say she's pregnant already. Want some hay? Come on. It's starting to rain out now. Not having a goat buck on the property has been a little tough trying to figure out if the goats are in heat and trying to get them pregnant. But not having a goat on the property has been nice also. It makes you pay attention a little bit more. So I feel like I'm learning more this year with having just female goats on the property. We're having to pay attention and keep an eye on everything a little bit better. Huh, yeah, good morning. Good morning. You wanna go out? You coming? Where are you going? Hey, to the chicken coop. Go get moose. I'm really liking this new handle on New York City. Oh, works so nice. Coming out. I'm gonna put some chow down for you. I'm curious to see how big this 
ice slash snow pile gets. It really doesn't pick it up on camera, but it's probably a foot and a half to two feet tall already. It goes from here to there. Good morning, Moose. How many eggs we got? What, you ladies holding out on us? I'm only seeing one egg this morning. Look at that, where's the rest of them? There's a few hens in Andy's flocks that should have been laying throughout the winter. I don't know if they haven't been or if it's just that they were free ranging all last summer and they were always hiding their eggs on me. So they might be good at hiding their eggs and come springtime when we clean out the chicken coop, I might find a pile of eggs somewhere. Figaro, what are you doing? Figaro, did you chase him up there? What are you doing? You're crazy. Put was saying, yep, I did that. All right, have fun, I'm going in the house. You coming down? You coming? All right, have fun. You're a crazy cat. Now you decide you want to come in. Come on. You guys ready for your feed and water? Oh, guys, that don't look right. Let me feed the chickens over here. Come on. I don't know what happened, but I opened the door to the chicken coop and Andy was just lying down. So I knew something didn't seem right. He's not alive. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was the extreme cold of yesterday or what. All the other chickens seem to be doing awesome. They've all seemed really healthy. Andy seemed like he's been in really good shape. I don't know if it's the weird weather we've been having this winter. He's not super old. We got him, he wasn't a year old yet. He was born that spring. We got him 2016. Yeah, so he's, he's not that old of a rooster, or wasn't that old of a rooster. Oh, that's not cool. We only keep a couple of roosters on the farm because you only need a few. You don't want to have too many. And we try to keep different ones. Like Moose, he's just a cool looking rooster. And then Andy, he's got that cool hairdo. Well, that kind of changes the mood of the day. I had a video I was going to shoot today, but today's not the day for it now. We'll do that video tomorrow. Yeah. I need a time, some time to process. And the best way for me to process sometimes is to do some work. So we're gonna work on sanding the window box for Gina, and then I can process and think. So I went over and I checked out Andy again, and I was looking at him, trying to figure out what happened. And it looked like he had a broken 
toenail it was missing and the foot was all red so I'm assuming he broke his toenail fighting with one of the other chickens it got infected and that's what did him in and I'm gonna say it was probably that and the night before it got down to three below zero and it was pretty cold for about half the day so my guess is is with the infection he was fighting and the cold weather we had it wasn't a good combination for him it's never easy losing an animal on the homestead I know we raise animals for food but we also raise animals and we plan on keeping them so I don't know everybody always asks hey how do you how are you able to eat your own animals that you grow I guess we kinda tell ourselves from the beginning hey this animal is for food whether we name it or not and if we do name one for food we try to come up with a food name and it helps us remind us that this animal is for food we're raising it to feed our family but when we have an animal that we're not raising for food and it dies suddenly it just throws me us for a loop I wasn't expecting to go out to the chicken coop that day and seeing that I know this video is a little shorter than normal I had a few things I wanted to do but I just couldn't see doing them today it just didn't feel like the mood was right anymore so we'll do that in tomorrow's video but thanks guys for being here watching for all your support you guys mean the world to us we hope in some way we're able to bless your family as much as you bless ours so guys we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom